Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how I make my hot chocolate mug to go on the top of this um, book cake and the full tutorial for this cake is on cakeheads.com. If you want to sign up become a member there you'll have access to that. Okay, but this is just the chocolate mug topper. I am using candy melts for this. I have a real teacup. I at first was going to use this mug, but the thing is that won't work. You need to use for this method a mug or a teacup that is slanted so that you can easily pull out your chocolate um, once you put it in there, right? If you have one that's not slanted outwards, you won't be able to get that chocolate out. I tried it first with that first mug and it didn't work. I couldn't get my chocolate out. So I had to switch to something that had slanted sides so it was easy to get out. So melt your candy melts according to the package. You're not going to want to do this on full power in the microwave because you could burn your candy melts. So I usually do one minute at 70% power and then I go 30 second intervals after that at 70% power or you could do it on defrost you know melt them so that they are nice and melted okay and then um, I don't I melt them and then I stir um, until they're fully melted I try not to overheat these because you will run into problems if you overheat them okay now I've got my teacup this is my grandma's antique teacup so um, it, we're not gonna hurt it I promise <laughs> And I add in, I start in adding some chocolate. You can do this really multiple ways, but I just poured in some chocolate and I started turning my teacup so that the chocolate would, um, you know, start getting all around the edges. But it started to slow down on me and when it started to slow down, I added in more because I do want my mug to be seamless. Um, so it slowing down means it's not going to go much further. So I had to add some more and now I'm using my little silicone spoon here to just gently spread it while turning my teacup all along the edge all the way up to the lip of my teacup. Um, and then keep, you know, keep going until you have covered the entire thing. And, you know, you want to make sure that it's not too thin. If it's too thin, it can easily crack on you. So I'm just kind of adding a little bit more around the edges to build it up. Then I'm looking down below. I'm making, making sure it's all covered, all filled. Again, on the thicker side so that it doesn't crack on me when I um, try to get this out. Then I put that in the freezer for about, you know, five-ish minutes and then I took it out and I'm just adding a little bit more to that top edge like I said I don't want it to crack on me so I'm building it up just a little bit more um, so it's not too thin adding in my chocolate and spreading it around and then I'm just running um, my finger along that top edge as well if you get if it starts coming over top of that edge you're just gonna wanna clean that up with your finger. So the thing to keep in mind here is while I, I'm telling you I want to build up the edge so it doesn't crack on me, I also, you have to think about what you're going to be putting into this um, mug. You can fill it with chocolate like I'm actually going to do or you can put some cake scraps mixed with buttercream in as like a little cake pop mixture to make it like an extra special treat so someone could actually cut into it and eat it if they want. Um, but if, I didn't want to make this solid white because we do want it to look like it's filled with chocolate, right? So the edges are kind of thick, um, but I'm going to have to do something with that if I want it to look like it's filled with chocolate, and I will show you what I'm going to do. This was kind of just, you know, just doing it as I went, just kind of winging it. So I then put that into the freezer for about 15 minutes. And when I took it out of the freezer here, I've got a... Um, you can use a scalpel or an exacto knife and I'm just cutting trimming along the edge before I take it out of the teacup because depending on the teacup that you use um, if it goes over the lip of the teacup it could crack when you're trying to take it out so I just kind of ran my straight edge along the edge there and now I'm kind of dealing with the thickness I'm just shaving down the top edge a little bit so that when I add my chocolate into it it 
the top edge doesn't look too chunky like this this chunky edge of porcelain which really shouldn't be there right I want the the chocolate part that we're gonna do in a minute to kind of go over that cover it so I'm just kind of at an angle shaving off a little bit and then gently just pulling it should come out pretty easily pulling my chocolate out of my teacup and it looks great now again you could do this many different ways but this was my just fly by the seat of my pants way of doing it quickly and pretty easily okay I also wanted to make this little bottom section here of my teacup so I poured some more of the melted chocolate flip my teacup upside down poured it into this little hollow section here um, filled it to the top tapping it so it lays nicely and then I'm gonna put that into the freezer as well for 15 minutes um, and then pop that little section out so I have that little bottom section of the teacup um, I wouldn't wipe the edge there with your finger unless you absolutely need to because you can kind of mess up the chocolate if you do that okay so freezer for 10 minutes now as I'm popping this out I should have been a little bit more careful <laughs> because <laughs> um, I ended up cracking it in half. Uh, what you could do instead is carefully run um, some warm water around um, on the ceramic and it would um, slide out for you a little bit more easily. But this was a pretty easy fix. I just used my chef's torch um, to heat it up gently and not too much. You're going to melt the entire thing. <laughs> I, my, I used a little too much. Um, just one quick little torch button press <laughs> what am I saying here guys and I just glued it back together okay now um, because uh, I messed up the edge a little bit I wanted to clean it up a little bit so just a little bit more with the torch and a little cookie round cookie cutter and then I could press this down and I can get clean up that bottom edge again really not necessary because nobody's going to be looking super, super closely at the bottom. But if you did mess it up too much, that is one way in which you can kind of fix it um, to get it nice and even again. Okay, then just let it sit there until it's set. And that's how I fix up my edge. You're not going to see that crack once I put my mug on top of that. So no worries with the crack. Okay, now I want to fill this mug. Again, you can create a cape cake pop mixture to put in there but I didn't have any extra cake scraps at this point all I had was chocolate so I was like forget it I'm just gonna fill the whole thing with chocolate um, but I am making marshmallows first with some fondant um, for this particular project nobody was going to eat this mug it's solid chocolate it's just to keep the whole thing all edible so I'm just with my bare hands creating some marshmallows rolling out a little piece in my hand and then using my finger and my thumb to create the flat edges as I twirl it between my fingers. Okay, see what I'm doing there? Yeah, and those create cute little marshmallows for the top of my mug. Okay, I melted chocolate. I had some candy bars, I had some um, chocolate chips, those worked just fine. I melted it and I put my mug back into the tea cup just to make sure it, you know, it stays in place because I've got some hot melted chocolate now I'm putting in. I don't want my tea cup edges to get warm and change on me here so um, I fill it with the chocolate you could put your cake pop mixture in first and then pour chocolate over top of that if you want so you can get this nice yummy chocolate on top and now I'm adding my marshmallows in before I put this in the freezer to set okay so once you put your marshmallows in then get in the freezer right away so that your marshmallows don't sink down too far into the chocolate okay put that into the freezer and while that's in the freezer I'm creating my handle I'm just rubbing my hand in some spare fondant here to get after I wash them and dry them to get the lint off my fingers and now I am using gum paste I am using Saraceno gum paste for this um, satinized gum paste will work as well you want something that will harden up on you pretty quickly so I'm rolling it out and I'm keeping it rather thick right on the thick side so that um, our handle will be thick 
And I am using two circle cutters here, one smaller than the other. Um, and this is how I'm going to create, if you could just buy a set of circle cutters and there'll be a whole bunch of sizes that you can use. And so that is how I create um, an easy little handle and then I can cut this down, but that gives me, you know, the same kind of thickness throughout. Um, so then I just kind of squeeze the end there. I'm holding it up to my actual teacup just to get kind of a guide of how I should cut this. Then I just cut at an angle and that part is going to be touching the mug. It's going to be attached to the mug. And then I'm going to cut off at an angle down here um, as well and that flat side that I've cut is going to be um, attached to the mug at the bottom, right? So I just kind of eyeballed that and you can cut off more if you need to cut off more. You can make this as big or as small as you want, but just hold it up to your actual teacup so that um, you get a feel of how it should look. And then you can let that dry for a little while. Um, it will probably need a little while to stiffen up for you. And then when you attach it, all you need is your chef's torch to just um, torch the side, the little spot where you're going to attach them very quickly. You do not want to melt it too much or it'll get gooey on you. Um, just torch one spot at a time, the top, attach, and then the bottom, and attach and hold it there for a few minutes while it hardens up. And then the same with the bottom. Just torch that little piece on the bottom for just a second. It's all it needs is a second. And then place your teacup on top and hold it so it's nice and steady and straight for you um, until it dries and you have a beautiful little chocolate teacup to add as a cake topper to any cake project that it will work with. You could, I was actually planning on um, adding some painting to the side of it, but I never did because my project was basically black and white and I didn't want to mess with that. So I added it to the top of my cake here of my girl that I created with um, books in her head. <laughs> it was a fun little project I did which you can find how to create this entire project over on cakeheads.com. If you want to sign up and become a member and join the Cakeheads family we have a ton of fun over there, tons of support, answer all your questions, tons of tutorials on the website, lots of fun stuff to learn and sharpen your cake skills with. So come on over and join our Cakeheads family. We would love to have you. See you later.